He had Jean as our next target. He visits my father sometimes for business. I hate when he smokes in the dining room. Gives me a headache. Sucked. Uh, anyway, uh, what do I have to do here? I don't know. I guess we should uh, find out what happens. Can I save my game now? Doesn't look like I can. I guess it just auto saves, probably. It better do, otherwise I will be very pissed off. I guess it's not weird that I'm walking around and stuff at the moment. And I have to go downstairs anyway, according to this, so let's go. Come on, Lucius. In your creepy fucking weird outfit thing. <laughs> Doesn't matter if people detect me around here, surely, because, um... Well, I'm like the normal person in the house, as it were, so... Surely it's not a much of an issue. So what am I going to have to do here? Jean! Are you smoking? Smoking kills Jean. Oh, okay, we're going to be instructed by Dad on what to do, I think. Daddy! Help! Help, Dad! Or maybe not. <sighs> well, there you are, Lucius. Let me look at you. I believe you've grown since I last saw you. Thanks very much, dude. So I'm looking around a bit. Not really sure what I can do as it were, but I'm gonna close this door. I'm gonna play around. Gas operated oven with a visible safety system. Does that do anything? Let me look at you. I believe you've grown since I've have you seen my matches. I took his matches. I've got a notebook update. What do I do? Uh, I still have his matches. Now only way for to light his cigarettes is with the oven. I should set some kind of trap. Have you seen my matches? I need a tool. Where would I find a tool to rig the oven? I am so fucking confused right now. need to find a tool before he does it, I guess? I don't know. Let's have a look around, I guess, and see if I can find a tool of some description. Well, this is bad because I fucked this up already. Hmm. Have you seen my matches? I have not seen them at all, dude, but I'm guessing you're going to light your thing indefinitely back and forth at various intervals, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I'll leave you alone for now. I'm gonna have a look around the house. A bit loose. Should probably borrow a screwdriver from the janitor and fix it. That drunk sure as hell ain't gonna do it himself. The janitor has a screwdriver. Is that clear? Can I? So where would the janitor be if I was a janitor? Outside? Let's try going outside. That makes sense to me. So, you take a seat, lovely guy, and I'm gonna go and look for the janitor. Fuck, it's locked. Bullshit. Any other way to get to where the janitor might live? There's a toilet. I have no clue. Maybe the basement. I guess we're going to have to have a look around. So I've been looking around, and the janitor here has a screwdriver on the desk, if you can see. We're going to go and uh, rig the fucking oven. There we go. Let's uh, hold this down and what do we do now? So we've rigged the oven. The oven is rigged and Jean does not have a clue. Now all we have to do is wait. Okay, I like this. It was a bit less linear this time as well. I had to actually explore a bit, which is quite cool. I do approve strongly. Come on, Jean. When are you going to go and get some more cigarettes? I think you, you really need to light your cigarette again. Yeah, you do. Don't worry, Lucius. Mary is now in a much better place. Along with her husband. I'm gonna close the door, Mum, because uh, I don't want you to see this. Light. Not yet, anyway. Light. Ah, here we go. You gonna get a little hot? <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! What 
do we get now? I don't know what that is, but I'm guessing it'll be important later on. Maybe I have to use telekinesis to get clues instead of wandering around like I did. I don't know. But anyway, we have a body again. Huh. What can I say, Mr. Wagner? This is a real unfortunate series of events. Quite uncanny. It's a matter. Jean was my campaign manager and a friend of the family for many years. I'll be lost without her. It's a unique, he's my dad. This must be a difficult time for you, but we really must do an investigation here. I'll need to speak to your handyman about the gas leak. This shouldn't have happened. I blame him. It's always his fault. I had a feeling there was something weird going on in that house. I couldn't quite yet put the pieces together, so I took a step back for a while, let it brew. And after a few weeks, the call came in. Just when things were getting back to normal, there had been another accident in that godforsaken house. It happened on a rainy day. I think it was Tuesday. The janitor, who was known to be quite the drinker, was fixing a bathroom in the lower west wing. Well, that's what I shall be doing. Killing the janitor? I think so. Oh, hang on. Dad's visiting us. This is going to be really good. I wonder if he's going to bring us a My Little Pony doll. It's what I really want and he didn't He didn't bring me one last time and I felt a bit annoyed. That's why I murdered those people. And Dad, where's the My Little Pony doll? Hello, Lucius. Here we are again. Yeah. How's it going? You've been doing very well, haven't you? My, you make me proud. That's because I'm amazing. But I must teach you some of the more, let us say, subtle arts which you can use. That sounds good to me. You can train your mind to move objects at your will. That sounds amazing. Here, let me show you how. That yeah, would be good. Uh, set your telekinesis by pressing T. Point to your mouse, cursor at the toy car. And hold mouse one. Excellent. Now with your mouse. Now also press and hold both mouse one and mouse two. Very good. Holding down both tables to bring you the object closer and to take it further with your mouse. What? I didn't really get that, but still. Now try to move the object to the box. Note that while you're using the power, your power... Di okay, your power dissipates. That doesn't feel right at all. That feels horrible. That's much easier with mouse one. There you go. Awesome. You can tell me what else to do, Dad. You can have break items with this skill. Try to break the coffee cup. Very good. There we go. You can also start machines with telekinesis. Try to start the radio. Now you know what to do, my son. You must continue with your mission and bring me souls. Yes, Daddy. Be careful, but show no mercy. Fucking radio, shut the fuck up. Bye, Dad! You don't bring, bring me the doll next time. I want the doll. Please bring me the doll. It's all I have in life is the doll. Tone Death is the next one. Oh, Tone Death, sorry. Let's see what happens to our next victim. It's a rainy day, and we're going to go a janitor murdering, probably, maybe, possibly. And one second, guys. Okay, let's fucking do this. Anyway, let's uh, get on with this. I wonder where we had to go today. I guess the directions will show us. Through here this time. This is Mummy and Daddy's room, I'm guessing. Judging by the uh, picture of the two holding hands in here. They have a very nice room, don't they? Isn't that lovely? And we can go... God, this causing power cuts and stuff. That's pretty cool. I like it. So the certain doors are off limits, but other doors are not. Is there, oh, there's a fucking crucifix. Can I do anything with these things? I can spin the crucifixes. I guess that stops them uh, doing stuff, maybe? I, I don't know. But we got, we're going to have to push a hairdryer into the bath or some shit, aren't we? That sounds awesome to me, though. This game really brings out the fucking psychopath in me more so than Dishonored, which is great. Let's get out of here, come on. Oh, Mix, you're sick! You enjoy killing these people! 
a game, guys. Chow. Chow. Chow! Hold of you, chow. Where the fuck am I going? I'm going through these double doors here this time. Fuck off, creepy sound effects. Just scaring the shit out of me. Oh, hello! How's it going? Our new victim! Got his blood all over the fucking wall there as well. Right, Ivor, let's have a look. He's always drunk, he probably won't notice if I change his plans up for a bit. Hmm. So I can change his plans on his thing. So I added a notepad entry to fix the piano. You right, dude? You don't write too good. Uh, so what do I do now? I told him to fix the piano or, or what? Is he gonna read it? God, he's properly fucked. Like, he's properly fucked. Aren't you, dude? Fix the piano? What the... Well, I get going, man. Okay, well that's good. Where, where's the piano? What do I have to do with the piano? Can I do anything in here while he's gone? Okay. I've still on a wrench. Maybe I should break something with this. I have no idea if that's a good idea or not, Mr. Lucius, but, um... Let's break something with it, at least. Let's, uh... Uh... Inventory. What can I break with a wrench? Not sure what I can do with this, but I'll have, have a look around, dude. I'll be, I'll be back later on, okay? Can I break this with a wrench? No, I can't. I'm gonna spin this crucifix as well. And no one will ever know. No one will fucking notice. Are we gonna do something in the kitchen with this as well? Maybe, or. Is he constantly gonna check the piano? Because that's weird if he is. Because there's literally nothing that can be done. You right, Mum? I'm gonna go and check up the upside, the outside, the upside uh, bathroom up here. I must say the music in this is pretty fucking disconcerting. I don't really like it that much. It's uh, pretty fucking creepy. Hey, I'm working here. This is not for children. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Maybe I need to do the taps or something in there? Let's try the taps in the downstairs one. That that makes sense. Taps. You can unscrew and shit, yeah? I, I think you can anyway. I don't really know, to be honest with you. Can I can I break the ceiling fan with it? That'd be cool. Cut his fucking head off. I'm a bit too small. I'm only a little Lucius. Only a bit a bit too small to deal with that kind of thing at the moment, but I'm sure there'll be plenty there of time later on. Did you see? Yeah, I slept fine, mummy. Don't worry about it. So he's gonna go in an endless loop trying to fix the piano. I should fix the piano. Okay, that's good. What else can I break with this shit? Um These. A water faucet. Well that makes sense, you break the water faucet. I'd break the water. F hmm. What the fuck do I do, guys? I'll be right back. Okay, so it looks like the, uh. It says it's not. It says. If I look at it, it says the pedals have one and a half inch bolts. But. What? How many wrenches do I have? And are they any good? Okay, so I know what to do this time. Just mustn't get caught. Ivor! I was using the wrong wrench all along, I do apologise. 
Oh, in fact, maybe I can... Why is there? Let's see if I can do this. No, I have to do the piano by the looks of things. Oh, well. Okay. Iva. You silly, silly goose. Mom, fuck off. Mom. Please fuck off, Mum. Please, I don't need you here right now. Thank you. Uh. Okay, now I should get him here somehow. Well, I already am. He's gonna come back here any minute now. It's gonna be fine. Go on, Ivor. Exactly, exactly. You must, Ivor. It's very important you come and check out this piano now for some reason. I don't really know. Mum, please leave the fucking room as fast as possible. Otherwise, I may have to kill you as well. Come on, Ivor! Come on! He's, he's a good boy! Well, what the fuck is going to happen when he uses the broken piano? I mean, seriously, I can't think of anything bad that would happen here. Maybe I can sever his head with the top of the fucking piano stand. There you go. Fix the piano, Ivor. Fix it. Damn there we go. Mm -hmm. What does it say now? It says... Oh! There we go. Sorry, Ivor. You were fixing the piano. You had an accident. What can I say? Fucking grim. Getting the hang of it, aren't we? Oh, yes, we are. I hate to tell you this, Mr. Wagner, but it seems your handyman was drunk as a skunk. He was an accident waiting to happen. I was going to fire him after the other incidents, but I just didn't have the heart. It's hard enough to keep the staff here with recent events. You can't blame yourself. This might be the worst case of professional neglect I've ever come across. While this might explain the gas leak, it still doesn't explain the death in the walk-in cooler. The autopsy on the maid was inconclusive, but we're still working on the theory she had a poor heart or circulation problems and fainted. Wonderful. Looks like we've got to wear it again. Uh, Dad will be very proud of us. We've got Cutting Edge next on September 11th, 1972. I like the sound of this. Lucius, more murders. Here we fucking come. Hi everyone, it's Mangamix here. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to like, remember to favourite, and remember to share it on all those lovely social networking sites. If you haven't subscribed already, please click the subscribe button. And uh, if you want to see more videos of mine, there are annotations to do so. Anyway, bye for fucking now. See you later, guys.